Here it is y'all, most definitely the craziest vintage shirt haul I've ever had. These are from the same collection. Just cooked up the deal. So boom, boom, boom. My guy. If y'all watching this video and you didn't watch the last video, you're gonna miss out on like fully the full context. So yeah, go watch that first. But basically, to summarize it all up, I went to a sale, bought a bunch of vintage shirts that I already put in the last video. Used some of those to trade for Grateful Dads from the 80s. But turns out the person running the sale had a whole bunch more and it was in their business partner's house. And so I got the contact, pulled up, and I was literally so shocked at the amount of shirts that there were and not even just the amount, but the amount of uh, good quality shirts that were laid out in front of me. It was literally nuts. I never thought I'd see these shirts. And before anybody comments it, you know how people say like, name five songs of that band you're wearing. All these bands accumulated, I can probably name a total of five songs, <laughs> all right? So uh, let's just put that out there. But And t-shirts are not necessarily my favorite thing to buy and to resell, but the opportunity presented itself. And I was like, you know what, I got to, it's here. It's content and it'll build good traction for the site, which I will be dropping later in the May, I believe. So I was like, you know what, let's do it because I think oop, I could definitely 2X or 2.5X the amount of money I spent. So before we get into all the shirts, my favorites from the least to the most expensive, all that good stuff, enjoy the actual full process of buying this. And yeah, let's get into it. Believe it or not, there's actually way more shirts from that haul. I got the Addy, I'm on the way right now. And if it's anything like the actual sale that we were at this morning, like we're, I'm, I'm about to cook again. Oh, yeah. Great, man. Miguel, there's these ones too, are these? Yeah, those are old, that's from a different collection, but that's from a, a lady who was a professional skateboarder. Oh, okay. Um, this one's pretty rad. What does it say? Shut, Shut up. up and skate, and then it's that one like is cool. Zorlac and you know. Yeah. Um, that one is cool. Session, independent. This is just a random one. This is from like a Hobie competition, old pal Peralta, and this one just says, I think, cool. ride a skateboard. What's that one over there? Uh, are these so ones for sale too, or are you guys saving Yeah, no, they are. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a Pantera. That one is cool too. Yeah. A couple of old like skate hats. This Sick. is a cool Thrasher bag right here. Cool. Were these all, do uh, you guys buy like a storage unit? Um, kind of. This pile right here was like kind of the better ones from that, that I had like separated. Put off. Like I have a bunch more t-shirts in the garage. Got it. But th these ones were the ones that were like, I was like, okay, maybe not the Pantera one, but like some of these other ones I was like would go pretty high. Yeah. Yeah, like in terms of the vintage clothing, if that's your main thing, like I probably get the majority of the vintage clothing that Haley and I deal with. Got it. So you might, I mean, you can always check with her, but it'll probably be with you. Be with me most of the time. Okay, I'll probably just get your contact yeah, then, just fine. in case. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. Yeah. You know, there's a couple that have like some condition issues, but they're really good sizes. Um, from my like research on some of them, there's a lot of like bootlegs, which can be good. Yeah, um, some some bootlegs can be better than yeah, the main ones. For sure. But you know, these ones, I'm gonna probably be like a little bit more precious on than That's some fair. Of the ones that we have outside. That's fair. Yeah. You have some more outside, you said? Yeah, I got some in the garage. I can show you. Um, so like, these ones, you'd probably just be more like per item, or would you? Um, a little. I mean, I would do bundles on them, but like they're still going to be like priced on the higher side. Okay. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm down, and like you can kind of tell me where you're at, and I can tell you if that works. Or, yeah. Um, I just think that like from what I could, from from my so, knowledge, I was just like a lot of these are going to probably be more in the retail of like a couple hundred dollar shirts. Yeah, that's so, fair. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are for sure like some goodies. Yeah, these are cool ones. Yeah. You said there's way more out there too? Yeah, there's more out there that we can look through. Yeah, for um, sure. There's also like some not so vintage stuff, but like still pretty choice things like Supreme clothing and stuff like that that I've got. Um, like, I don't know if you deal with any of that. Yeah, not really, not as much. It's stuff that like, I would, I would think people would want, but. Well, yeah, obviously, you know, all these ones are cool. And so I'd be down to check those ones out there too. If I were to get all these, is there like a, mind, a price you had in mind? 
Um, I kind of have to count them, and then like I could give you like a price per that we would do. Okay. Um, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. And then from there, I can kind of just figure out like if it's a little high for me, maybe counter offer it, or maybe take some out. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, not trying to like you know be silly with this stuff, but this pile, there's a couple people that I have in LA that that really want that pile. Um, so I, they would probably take the whole thing. Um, so I'm probably not going to separate that pile too much. That's fair. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm always the mentality of if it saves me a trip and whoever is kind of like, yeah, exactly. First, you know, it's, it's, I'm not precious like that, but there's a couple people that are like Rose Bowl sellers that, I yeah. can, you know, sold one of the, the, I, there was a Thrasher shirt from that collection and I sold it for a grand. Oh, you wow. Know? Yeah. On eBay? On eBay, yeah. Here you go. If you're trying to sell all of them at like the end consumer price per Not the item, end, but like, you know, that'd be a little hard for. I'm gonna be probably just to, so we don't waste too much time. I'm probably not going to go lower than 100 a shirt on these because I think a lot of them are like 150 to yeah. 220, Something like, like that. Yeah. Um, Maybe a few here and there more, but you never know. Yeah. Okay. But eBay for me has just been like you know, meh, little yeah. yeah. Little, um, little whatever. Okay. You don't want to separate any of them out? I don't think so. Okay. I have a few people that I've shown. Let me this. count how much we, I yeah. have. Okay. Let's see. 29.30. Yeah. So I am still interested. Okay. But I will look at that first. Sure. As we look at that, I'll let that marinate. For sure. Is that fair? There we go. So yeah, whose shirt was all those things? These ones? No, all those shirts that we were like. Yeah, at. these are from the same collection. Just a guy who was like, he put together like a pretty choice t-shirt collection and he lost all his stuff. Um, and so you guys bought it all from him? Yeah. Wow. We had some hard times. Um, there is some vintage stuff in here, but it's not gonna be like anything too crazy. Yeah, someone was a little cropper, huh? They wanted to yeah. crop their stuff. I'm just gonna ask. Yeah. To save the trip and just buy it right now. Yeah. Instead of a hundred per, could we do eighty? What do we come to here? If so we... that's twenty four hundred. Fourteen. Yeah. And then, so that's uh, hundred forty. Yeah. So we're at twenty five forty. Twenty five forty. Yeah. And then whatever. And then these. What are... did we say on these ones again? You said that was the second tier. I'm not quite sure what you want to do. Well, here's here's what I'm willing to consider right now. I'll go three for the entire deal. Three for the entire deal. Twenty-seven fifty. I don't want to be a stickler, but I'm gonna stick with the three. Three. Yeah. Could you let me feel good by getting twenty-nine? I just want to be under that three. I just want to feel good. My guy. You got it. I got you. Zell Cash. Just cooked up the deal. These shirts. Goodies, you got these guys, you got those. So boom, boom, boom. Pretty crazy. I know, right? To spend that much money on vintage t-shirts. It's pretty stupid <laughs> if I were to be honest. But um, let me know if y'all think it was a good deal after I show you each and every single item. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to show y'all this. I guess we'll go from kind of like the lowest end to the highest end because I did buy a bunch of other mid shirts just to kind of help uh, even out the uh, pricing of everything and to add uh, volume into like the bundle price. And so 53 shirts was a total of 2,900. So mathematically, if I'm not mistaken, it was like 53 bucks per shirt. And a few of these shirts, I won't even get 53 bucks for, but on a good amount of these shirts, I'll get at least 100 on, 152. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Here we are, Harley Davidson. Or the freaking didn't even realize there was a Confederate flag back there, but uh, no to racism, right? Is that this one's actually pretty cool, being some from San Diego, San Diego State '80s T, nice graphic on that. And this one is funny just because it's such a random graphic, but I thought it was cool. UCSD Cal Animage, Animage, super cool. Fun graphic. Guys, 53 shirts. I'm gonna try to go through this quick, all right? 70s champion, Dartmouth military community, or no, not Dartmouth, Darmstadt. 
I used to be a B, and then, but now I'm a dart B. I don't cuss, by the way, if you guys are wondering. Why is he only saying B? Say the full thing, dude. I don't cuss, all right? Unless you really piss me off. All right, bike Daytona, boom. Nice fader. A few of these shirts were, uh, I thought were just really cool just because of the fade. Obviously, everyone loves the faders. Fun 70s, front back wrestling team T, Loara, nice boxy, boom. So yeah, these shirts right here, like, I'm not, probably not gonna get 50 on them, but it's a nice Levi's Thrasher joint, button your fly. And while you guys are here, uh, make sure you guys hit the like, comment, subscribe. Um, this one, I have no idea why I got this. <laughs> I think I got this for myself. I just love like old stained up thrash white shirts. But this is Neil's key service, super thrashed. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna be for myself. So I don't necessarily love the hyped up tees as much for my personal wearing. I like to wear like the kind of random cool tees that not a lot of people would have. And so, I don't know, I think that was dope. Oh, the fade on this is actually pretty nuts and the little holes throughout. I don't know if, whoa, I almost just created a big girl. I don't know if this was cropped by somebody reworked, I don't think so, but the fit on this is crazy and the fade, the wear, the colors. Uh, this one was cut up, but still on that beautiful Brocco, Metallica joint, still cool. Metal up your booty. There's some here that are very, very graphic. Like, we're gonna get into it more, but some of the shirts are so graphic. Orlando Magic, boom, this one's huge. For sure, like uh, it says XL, but it's definitely like a 2XL. Nice fade, nice colors on there. A little American Thunder joint. Boom, boom, boxe. Another thrash faded wear on this, what, biker Harley T? Uh, no, it's not even a Harley, but leader of the pack. Boom. Ah. And then OJ's and Levert. 91. Kind of cool. Kind of bum equipment tag. I thought it was pretty fun. We're heating up a little bit, huh? Pink Floyd, boom, redefining the stadium. Specular, spe spectacular, spectacular, specular. Why did I say specular? Pink Floyd, the division bell. This one's an XL. Green Day Dookie, front and back, front, back. All right. Ulroy, Ulroy, this is just a game to you. All right, now is when I guess we're gonna start heating up, y'all. This one, ha, ah, I wish it wasn't cut, but a little Bob Marley rap T joint. Boom, 3D emblem, boom, Sturgis, boom. Fun tag on this one, actually. I like these tags, I think they're cool. Alice Koopa, late 80s joint, 1986, 87, The Nightmare Returns. Santana joint, 1996, front. Back is cool, I like that eagle. I wanna get a full freaking American eagle mixed with like the Philippine stars in my back, a full back piece. Pantera on a Winterland, boom, bam, 1998, boom. Moist fade, once again, a lot of these have some beautiful fades. Right, another Alice Cooper tee, boom, rock and roll, carnival, bam. Metallica, boom, front, back, little slit in the armpits right there for extra breathability. Slayer joint, boom, boom, on an all sport. 1992 Metallica and Guns N' Roses, boom, boom. This one's on a Brockham, boom. I don't know if this was cropped, but this is XL. Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, stronger than all in the back, boom. Got one hole in the armpit. But these shirts, like the wear on this is actually beautiful. Paint splatters throughout. This one's on a Hanes. Yeah, I don't really mind holes. I know a lot of people that like their vintage shirts hold up and having a lot of wear. Obviously this is worn by people going to concerts, wearing them. So I don't mind, I think adds to the character of it. But uh, this one's an Ozzy Osbourne. Boom, 1980s, literally paper thin. You can see me through here. Ah! Boom, bark at the moon. What? Why would you bark at the moon, dude? This one's a Guns N' Roses. This one's actually really cool. I think this is a parking lot boot. Guns N' Roses and Metallica. Guns N' Roses in the front. Back is Metallica. Absolutely beautiful fade on this. A little charcoal gray. Pink Floyd, 80s T. Boom. World Tour, sold out. Bam. This one's on a Spring Ford. Uh, here we are, Bad Religion. Boom, this one's on a giant tag as well. Bad cut right here. This one's actually kind of annoying. Cut, but someone knows how to sew, you can sew it or 
Maybe I'll take it to someone to sell for like five bucks. Another Pantera, Cowboys from Hell. Effing hostile. The wear on the back of this is actually really cool. Boom, you can see, try to add some pins, try to do their own hand repairs on there. Super fun, 1992 Pantera. A hole on the shoulder right there too. No big deal. Here's this Rolling Stones. I'm pretty sure this one's a parking lot boot, but honestly, I think parking lot boots sometimes are a little bit cooler than the original merchandise that they were selling. There's the back. Here we are, a little Primus T front. Boom, back. I just know some people are gonna be like, bro, you don't listen to any of those. You're such a poser. I know. <laughs> sometimes in this game, the freaking vintage reselling, people feel so entitled sometimes and feel like they have a superiority complex because they love a band or <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's cool when someone buys because they really resonate with the item, maybe because that was their dad's favorite band and their dad just recently passed. I get that, but like I'm talking about the resellers that are like, let me get that because I actually just doesn't listen to them and then they'll just go out and sell it. It's just like, bruh. All right, here we are, Metallica. Boom, front. This one's on a Brockham. Bam, there's the back. Boom, Metallica and justice for all. Boom. I just realized I say boom so many times. Chicago Bulls rap tee. Uh, compared to the Bob Marley rap tee, this one's actually fully intact. There's the front, there's the back. Nice fade. Especially in the front, the wear on this is beautiful. Tag is still intact, but obviously faded out. Can't really see it. Chicago Bulls. Stop Bulls. Another Metallica joint, early 90s. Boom. Metallica rules in the back. This one's really cool. Metallica kill them all. Front, back. You got this Green Day on a Brockham. Dookie. Boom. Back. What else we got, what else we got? This one I think is super fun. Look at that guy throwing up his metal fingers, huh? Metallifonica. Oh my God, I totally read it. I totally read it wrong. It's a metal, metallifonica. That's actually pretty dope. Metallica for the guy right there. That makes a lot more sense because the guy's holding up the middle fingers. Another Metallica joint. This one's on a Juanita, Juanita, Juanita. Ding. Back. All right, we're getting into the top Guns N' Roses right here. 1991, 1992 tour on a Brockham. And this one right here is the Thailand Special 3D emblem. Crispy black, no wears, no tears or anything. It's the tag that they love right here. It's just so funny how they get in contact with every single reseller. This one right here is probably the gnarliest one as far as graphic. If you're under the age of 18, please look away. And YouTube, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Censor me, but it's a cradle of filth shirt. It's a long sleeve joint with a girl right in the middle Absolutely naked with her tatas out. This one's disgusting and crazy. Boom Boom we Gotta sell this one ASAP for sure. We got this Megadeth joint R.I.P. Mary Jane great condition on this with a great fade. It's on a 80s Hanes and we got three not one, not two, but three Marilyn Manson shirts. Here's the first one on a Winterland. Sex is dead, doom. Here's the second one. I wasn't born with enough middle fingers, LOL. LOL. And we got the third and last one. This one's also on a Winterland, bam. Here's the back. This one's got a little hole in the front, but not that big of a deal. Last four, y'all. And if there was any one of these that I would keep for myself and wear, even though this is not really my style, but just because of the fade and the fit on this, it'd be this one. Lollapalooza 1991 festival. And look at the lineup in the back, absolutely stacked. And the actual fit on this and the fade and the colors that are popping out in the front and back. This one, this one might just be a personal. Fade on it is absolutely nuts. And then we got this Testament joint. Boom, front, crazy, super crazy, malpractice, gorgeous. And then this Ozfest is super dope. Here's the front, here's the back. The lineup on this is actually pretty dope too. Can't name one song. And then last but not the least, I think this one genuinely is the most valuable one. And I think it's just the coolest looking one based on the graphics. But this one is the Clash of the Titans shirt. It's got Anthrax, Megadeth, Slayer. Alice in Chains, and it's got everything, the fade, the fit, the distressing, literally you got everything, and here's the back. Boom, 
I don't know what I like better, the front or the back, but this one is gnarly. Clash of the Titans. Wow. This one is sick. That's it, y'all. That is it. That is the whole t-shirt haul from that guy. And so let me know if y'all would have copped it for 2,900. Based on everything I showed you, let me know if y'all would have pulled the trigger. Let me know which item was your favorite. Let me know which one you would have kept for yourself. So 3075, 105, plus 10, 115, 30. I can do 35, 35, and then 20. Uh, 30, I can do 60, yeah. And then this one, 40. Uh, this goes uh, 300, please. Ah, I can't 300, that's, <laughs> no. Uh, 350, please. 350? Yeah. Um, 355? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your name? Miguel. My name is Yoshi. Yoshi, yeah, nice pleasure, to man, good to meet yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, Yoshi, y'all came through, yeah. shopped. Matching with his bag. This one's nice, I like this one, the fade. Yeah. Good fade. This is my favorite one though, he got a stussy joint. All right, Yoshi. Yeah, thank you, Miguel. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, ca cash? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bro tried to run out on me, that's crazy. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it, yeah. see you next time. Nice little cash out, yo. After spending freaking all that money on those shirts, trying to get rid of everything here cheaper, do a deal. Gotta get it done. All right, it. That. All right, what do you have? Okay, I'm gonna give you good deals. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, 10, uh, 15, 20, and this one, I can do 40. That's a group price, though. It's 85. You can do 70, I'll get everything. Uh, 70? I that's all my cash. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can do 70. I can do 80. That, that's probably my best on it. Thank you, sir. Ma'am. Y'all locked in. Look at this. The straight beef. Straight meat. <laughs> Trying this little carnivore thing out. No carbs. Pretty salt, honestly. The salt, pepper. A little bit of barbecue sauce, but. Got my boy Aaron here. That's Want to be Filipino? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. I'm more Filipino than him. Yeah, this dude's actually gone to the Philippines just because. I told him though he didn't check in, he's not allowed back. <laughs> okay, how was the meat though? It was fine, let me get another. Alright, dude, relax. Go ahead. The way that you walk in the room, girl, you're making it harder to function. Step on the scene, you're looking at me, and my heart started jumping. And they'll never get it, cause baby, they think it's just casual loving.